Hello, love. Hi, Mammy. How are you doing? Good, good. Do you know yourself? Are you just there with your lectures now? If you could even call them that, video shite. It's not the same experience. It's Saturday, Mammy. No lectures. So what have you been up to then? Lying around all day till you remembered your poor mother? Well, I had to assignments to do and I had to go shopping. I'm not going anywhere near the shop with all this going on. Some idiots without even masks. Have they not seen the news? I know, Mummy. But sure won't I order the shopping for you. Your man who delivers it is very rude. Just throws them at the door and goes. They can't go in, can he? Social distancing and all that. He should at least be able to have a cup of tea. We're not meant to be living like this. I know, Mummy. A woman like me, having to survive completely on her own. It's not right. Sure, don't I call you every day? And Sean, ever so often. Uh, I was talking to Sean last Sunday. He told me. Yeah, he was telling me he ordered one of them television stands from Ikea. I told him not to be wasting his money on that stuff. Breaks so easily. But he said it was good and sturdy. Black, though. I told him to pick up every bit of dust, but he said he wouldn't even know what to say. Wouldn't. Here, I'm going to order your shopping for you now. Anything in particular you're after? <laughs> Nothing you get for me. What about them ready meals? Were they nice, Andy? Don't know. Didn't touch them. I was told they are bad for you. They're better than nothing. Uh, what about orange juice? Would you drink orange juice? Get a few vitamins. That vitamin stuff is all a scam. What about soup? Would you eat soup? I've already made one. You just have to pop it in the microwave for two minutes. Be nice on th these winter nights, no? Soup on a own. It's hardly a meal now, is it? Well, you could have some bread with it. Bread and soup. You have me living like some sort of a criminal. Have you eaten yet today? I had a bit of toast and some tea. Though you sent around the wrong tea bags. I don't like them. They're the same ones as always, Mummy. I'm the one drinking them. You think I could tell? If I ordered you a pizza or something, would you pick away way at it? I'd pick away at it. Do and watch a film or something. I think they're doing Home Alone 2 on RTE. And what would I want to be watching Christmas movies for and making myself all miserable? Right, don't do that then. Here, I'll, I'll have a look for you. Oh, there's MasterChef on. You like MasterChef? I don't want to be stressing myself all out. Or what about the chase? Makes me feel stupid and they're all too English. You should watch something on that Netflix thing. I already told you I'm not messing around with that stuff. Oh, there's a documentary on about Wales. You love Wales. Makes me sad when I hear them crying to each other. They're not crying, Mammy. They're just talking. It's all the same to me. That's me to hear, yeah? Sure, I still have to ring it in. Um, right, Mammy, I'll have to go, so love you. And now, don't think I've been ignoring your emails asking for extensions, but guys, this has been a six-week assignment. It's not like you've got much else to be doing during lockdown. Now, um, were there any questions specifically or... Um, uh, yep, yeah, sorry, I've... I always get this wrong at Saoirse. Do you have a question? Um, yeah, sorry. Just did we have to choose a mode on analysis listed or were they just suggestions? Have you not even started? G guys, the standard I expect from a six week assignment should reflect six weeks of work, not just three days. But uh, yeah, Saoirse, uh, the list was just a guide. Uh, if you're, I'm sure, just 
shoot me an email and I'll send you something on. Um, I'm sorry, I, I have to go. Oh, um, okay. Um, anyway, any other questions? Danny, are you okay? Where's them baubles, Pat? Do you remember the one that I got in Disney? Have you been drinking, Mum? What? No, no, no. Do you know where's them baubles? The little ones with the characters on them. I'm putting up the tray. I'm getting into the spirit. I'm flying. Have you had a drink or not? That's all about drink with you. I'm enjoying myself and you're trying to ruin it. Answer the fucking question. <sighs> yeah, okay. Jesus Christ almighty, what are you? Me daughter or some sort of sobriety police? I only care about you, Mammy. Well, you need to show it. Instead of turning into some narky knickers when your mother asks you a simple question. We're doing so well. <sighs> One drink never hurt anybody. I was putting up the Christmas tray and I was thinking about yourselves and your dad. And you know the way you're always telling me I try to cheer myself up. So I put on the Christmas FM. And I said, I'll have a little glass of wine the way your dad and me always did when we were putting up the decorations. No harm in it. But now you're making me feel like shit. Well, you know what? Never fucking minds. You want me to stop enjoying myself putting up the decorations? Is that what you want? Well, what's the fucking point of putting up decorations anyway when I'm going to be spending Christmas on my own? Of course there's a point, Mummy. So you're not coming home for Christmas, are you not? Sorry, I can't, Mammy. The restrictions, I can't fly. You could work something now if you really wanted to. But sure, I'd, I'd have to isolate. I don't see why you can't just come back here. Is that not what you'd want? You could keep your laser eyes on me. You could force food down me poor throat. You could whack the bottle out of my hands. Is that not what you'd want? No, I mean, listen, no. Just just keep listening to your music, okay? That's it. And the bubbles, the Disney bubbles, they're under my bed. Well, that's hardly your bed now anymore, is it? You never even sleep in it. Are you putting up the snowmen outside the door? I'm not doing any of it now. You ruined it all. I never said that. Those words never left my lips. <laughs> they did. You called him an idiot. He was thicker than a double D. No, no, no. I didn't call him that, all right? I asked him if he was a fucking idiot. He's thicker than a double ditch, all right? And there's a big difference. What's he say? Yeah, I don't know. He hung up. So I guess that's <laughs> over then. Fifth time it's been over this month. I'll try this one. <gasps> Today. Oh, shit. Upstairs is in the waiting room. Oh, you should not be host. Let her in. Oh, I think I kicked her out. Oh no, here she is. All right, she's connecting to audio. Sorry, guys, I was just talking to you. Hi. 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 Did you guys? Better late than never, babes. <laughs> Here, cheers, so girls. Uh, hang on, I haven't made my drink yet. What will I have? Wine or mimosas? Glow or vino at me, Charlie. <laughs> okay, all right. You want the tea again, Sasha? You know, we do well. Tea and biscuits. Ooh, I might steal some of my roommates. She always has those really fancy M&S ones. Oh, they're gorgeous. Oh, drop us over with Morgan, would you? Fuck off! I'm not walking 20 minutes yet just to give you a double chocolate chip. <laughs> so close and yet so far. Maybe we'll be able to get to see each other for Christmas. Yeah, maybe. Have you decided if we're going to go home yet, Tish? Um, I don't know. I kind of want to stay. Stay? Is this clip? Well, I mean, to be fair, at least your heating's working. 
Have they still not fixed that? <laughs> no, I just have to turn the oven on and leave the door open. <laughs> Fire hazard and a half. That about sums her up. Yeah. So who is going home then? I am. Um, could not possibly go a year without my mum's honey glaze done. <laughs> I probably will as well, because I didn't realise, right, a box of heroes were so expensive, but it's grand because my mum will have bought loads. Mine too, I'll bet. I'm definitely going home. 21 years old and I'm still going to wake up my mum to show her what I got in my stocking. <laughs> Same, even though she put everything in. Wait, so are you going home, Sish? Um, I, I don't know. Flights are just so weird at the moment and... Well, yeah, I'm not sure. Well, yeah, I mean, I don't blame you because it's like a month's worth of isolation just for one trip to Ireland. Two weeks now. Yeah, but it's like two weeks on the way there and then two weeks on the way back as well. Oh. I don't really want my mum to be on her own, though. Grown woman, she'd ask you to come home if she really wanted you. Besides, can't your brother and his wife go and see her? Yeah, it's their first Christmas together. I think they just want to stay home. Yeah, but that's not your problem then, is it? It's her mum we're on about, not a leaky pipe. I'm sure she'll want to see her. <laughs> yeah, but Zoom is your friend. And it's so much handier than having to go home. Uh, that's just because you don't want your mum to see what you've done to your hair. <coughs> what? I love my hair. <laughs> At least it's not the worst lockdown hair decision. <gasps> it's just dying. Just say my name. <laughs> it's nice, it's going back. Anyway. <laughs> okay. Never have I ever lockdown edition. <laughs> right. Never have I ever changed my age range on Tinder. What? You knew that was aimed directly at me. Jen, <laughs> Jen I feel like there's a story here. Oh, 28 year olds are just really boring. It would get to like hard. Half 11 and he'd be like all right let's go to bed talk tomorrow yeah but charlie you can't even judge right because mark's 27 mark has an apartment so. oh yeah right right okay, okay. Fine, then. never have i ever drunk before two in the afternoon oh shamelessly <laughs> these are long ass days Remember that, remember that time you were tipsy in hand at 11 Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> that was one time. And you can't blame me. Those lectures are fucking crap. Yeah. Most of us think so, too. That was so funny when you asked a question and then just fucked off. Iconic. <laughs> I had to go and It was do so something. offended. It was so funny. Expect a snide email, Sasha. <laughs> oh, God. Uh... Yeah, do you want to do something like a Netflix party or something? No, I don't know who you can choose. You're the only one who's going to be sober enough to actually watch it, so... Um, you know what, guys? I am I think I might go to bed. I'm really tired. Are you all right? You seem a bit off. Yeah, no, I'm grand. I'm just tired. Really, really tired. Go and get into bed, then. We'll have drinks and movie another night. Or yeah. tea and movie another night, yeah? <laughs> yeah, definitely. We love, love you. you. This drink's for yeah. you, you lecture ditching queen. Woo! <laughs> Are you out for a walk then, mummy? I uh, just had to go to the shop for a few bits. Oh, did I forget something in the shopping? No, no. Uh, I just had to get um, cat food. Cat food? Yeah. We don't have a cat, Mummy. So how would you know if we have a cat or not? I might have found a poor old stray. Unless you have cameras installed in the cat flats now, have you? We don't even have a cat flat. Dad hated cats. Well, he's not telling me what to do with my life anymore, is he? He's not telling me if I can or can't have a cat from six feet under, is he? Unless he's coming through my daughter, my own daughter, taking his side. I'm not taking anyone's side, Benny. Can you let me see what's in the bag? I didn't get it yet. I'm only on my bag. It doesn't look like you're only on your way. How would you ever back off? Come here. I want to talk to you. 
Will you send something to Sean from me for the Christmas? He's not going up to you then? No. They said for the first Christmas in their new house, they'd like it to be a quiet one. I don't blame them. It would be lovely for them. What present do you want me to order then? Jesus, I don't know. Maybe something for the house? Well, why don't you have a think and let me know? Maybe have a look through your old interior design books. What would I want to be looking at them for? Sure, nobody uses interior designers anymore. They all use the computer. Uh, a lot of people still get interior designers. Do you remember how nice I used to have the house when you were smaller? Remember how pretty it was? Yeah. Remember when I done your room up for your communion present with the purple? Of course I remember, Mummy. Isn't it still the same colour? Do you remember when we went in to get the paint? We went to three different shops, looked for the exact right colour. Yeah, that was fuming. But it looked well, didn't it? Yeah, you always had an eye for the stuff. I could have worked at it. I could have had a job in it. You could have. If it wasn't for husbands and second kids, spent my whole life looking after other people, doing what they wanted. Don't fall into that trap, you hear me? Put yourself first. In a t-shirt? No, no, sure, so I'm sheltered here. Is it snowing over there? It's only England, Mummy. The same weather as you. We, if their father could hear that, if he'd have known his only girl of you living in England and him a proud Irish man. Proud you, Mummy. You are quick enough to get away. Change your voice. I am proud. We're all full of pride. It'll be the death of us. Right, right, love. I'm at home now. I need to hang it up so I can get the keys. All right, love. All right. Well, would you look who it is? Yeah, you're ringing to put a Christmas present order in, is it? I just wanted to see your face. Well, here it is, and all its glory. How's uh, how's life correspond? Uh, nothing exciting. Just to stay in the flats all day. Yeah, well, where is the insured anyway? You know, you're hardly missing much. All the morning classes, is it? Yeah. Don't get to see anyone. Mm. Well, at least you can stay in your pyjamas all day then. I suppose. How's the new house? Ah, yeah, we're setting in all right, you know. A few bits and pieces still need to be done. It's my sister, yeah. Alison says hi. Tell her I say hello. Sorry you had to move the wedding out. Ah, uh, you know, sure nothing could be done, you know. We're not in any rush at all though, so it's grand. When is it now? March? Maybe, yeah, we don't know really. Alison's the one talking to them. Well, is she excited? Probably, I can say so. <laughs> Hopefully it's soon enough. Yeah, well, uh, probably have to move it out again in a bit, though. Mammy, uh, Mammy would be devastated, I'd say. Probably wants to get out a bit, I reckon. Um, about Mammy. Uh, what about her, then? Was she uh, getting on to you about going home for Christmas? She was moaning to me that she didn't want to. Not that I don't want to, but Sean, I think she's drinking again. How do you mean? I mean, I think she's going to relapse. Why? But she had a glass of wine the other night. Or a glass of wine isn't going to kill her. She's not allowed a little pleasure, like. It wasn't just that. I was talking to her when she was walking to the shops. She's not allowed to walk to the shops now. She was telling me you drop all the feckin' food to the front door. Are you afraid fucking... Shame to see your own mother in town, is it? It's not like that. You should not just go home to her for Christmas, like. You know, you can keep an eye on her if you want. She'd love it, like. 
Like, you know that I can't travel. You can if it's essential. Then you go to her. Yeah, but you've always been much better with her than I have. Do you remember when we were younger? We wanted to say something to Mammy. We just write it down and send it on a paper airplane. Yeah, oi. I don't know. I was, I was just thinking about it. How easy that used to be. Yeah. Here, look. If I send you the money for presents for Mammy, will you be able to buy a present from the Brockmans? She might like to get two separate ones, Sean. Well, then get her two. See what I'm talking about. You're much better at this child than I am. <sighs> okay. Don't worry about Mammy, it's yours. All right. She dealt with that for years. She's well able to look after herself. Any time I ever talk to her, she seems absolutely fine. I know, Sean, but she's lonely. <laughs> I know, it's the most wonderful time of the year, isn't it? Yeah. Here, listen, Alison's got dinner ready, so I'm going to head, all right? Okay. Love you. Hi, Mummy. How was the Zoom mass? Shite. It was a big text box in the middle of the whole time. You'd think they would have let the churches open as usual for Christmas, but oh no. To think any other year we'd have been in McHugh's for a few drinks after Mass. Though we had to always leave a bit early to get you home for bed. So before I sorted out the Santy stuff. Just John's little one. Um. Yeah, she says he's not convinced, and him only nine too. It took you ages to cop on. No, you didn't even cop on. I had to tell you before you started secondary school. Yeah. You hadn't got a clue. No harm in that, love. No harm in not having a clue. I love doing it with us. Oh, that sham fella was a devil for changing his list. Every time he went through that feckin' Smith's catalogue, he'd come at me circling something else, and the presents already in the back of the wardrobe. It was my favourite time of the year, though. I loved doing it for us. It was the day I could, I could just say everything was perfect. Just one day of the feckin' year. Is there anyone on the roads left for Santi? Thanks. I bet you don't even remember anything about those times. I do. I remember the day you burnt the turkey. That's what you remember, is it? Ah, it was funny, Mummy. I remember you scraping the burnt bits into the bin and making me promise not to say anything. And you didn't. You were a serious little child. You still are. I wanted you to have Christmas. I wanted you to be a kid one day a year. What are you going to do for your dinner tomorrow? You're hardly going to cook a whole turkey, are you? Oh, well, I got a fillet. I actually ordered one in the shopping for you. You just put it into the oven. You think I don't know how to cook a feckin' turkey fillet? You think I'm useless? Oh, that's not a Normally, this time on Christmas Eve, I'd be putting the ham on. I've nothing to be doing. I'm losing my mind. Why don't you read your book, one that Susan gave you, about the detective? He said it was good. Ah, I, I, I walked out who did it, I guessed. They don't tell you this, do they? You don't tell the mummies when they banish them to the homes that there's not going to be a home forever. Then what are we supposed to do with ourselves? Just sit around and wait to die? Forgotten? Not forgotten, mummy. Don't I call you every day? 
Do you think that's meant to be my life, do you? Is my whole feckin' life supposed to revolve around your feckin' phone calls? Well, I thought you liked my phone calls. I'm on me toes all day till you call me. I can't relax till you're off me case. I only care about you, Mummy. You cared about having me where you want me to be, where you can't be ashamed of me. Do you think you're too good for your poor mother who gave up everything for you? Because it was all over for me with you. All that, and you not even wanting to come and see me for Christmas. You're drunk, Mummy. I might have had a glass, but I'm far from drunk. Yes, I know where me head is. You think you're living the worst life of all, having to call your mother every day? Well, that's only a tiny part of your life. My life is over. Don't say that. My life was over the day I walked down that feckin' aisle. But now, it's too much of a feckin' bother to get on a plane and pull a Christmas cracker with your mother. Did you get the present from me and Sean? I've been on to Sean. I gave him a ring when I seen it. Very thoughtful he was. Though you're probably imagining it over me when I'm passed out, is that it? Is that how you see me? Well... I'm me own woman. If I decide to have the odd drink, well then, that's my life choices. It's none of your business. Nothing to do with you. You're not the only one it hurts, Mammy. <laughs> I think I like spending my whole life worrying about you. Have you eaten? Were you drinking? Did you forget to pay a bill? This affects me too. Oh, cause it's all about you, isn't it? You think I don't know what it's like to pull a glass out of someone's hand, to hide a bottle, to pour stuff down the sink? You think I don't know what it's like to spend your whole life worrying, trying to not let anyone else find out? I can't keep living like this, Mummy. Welcome to the real world. You spend your whole life worrying about someone and you never get a moment's good from it. That's how the women in this family end up. And I should be having a drink in my house. I'll be damned if I let my Miss Princess daughter stop me over the feckin' phone. You think you're all high and mighty, don't you? Well, if you haven't gotten curious enough to find out what's so damn good about the bottom of a bottle, then it hasn't hit you hard enough yet. That's what I say. It hasn't hit you hard enough yet. What? A search? It's the middle of the night. What's going on? Are you okay? It's Christmas morning. Merry Christmas. Well, yeah, just about. Merry Christmas, Jen. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Christmas. My parents are asleep. I'm at home. Sorry. Sorry. Shh. Shh. Are you drunk? What's going on, sir? You never drink. Hang on. Are you in your flat? On your own? What's wrong, babes? I, I just wanted to ask you something. Oh, you're talking weird, but to answer your question, what if we'll kind of work, but the white bread soaking it up thing is a myth? No, 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 wait. I wanted to ask you. You think I'm a bad person? What? I said, well, of course not. What's wrong with you? I, I don't know. I just... I don't even know why I'm telling you this. I don't even want to. I think I'm turning into my man. Everyone ends up like their parents. I keep noticing I'm dressing like my mum does. No, 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 this is different. I mean like in a bad way, Jen. I mean like the worst parts of her. 
It's like it's like I'm so close to her that that she's spilling over on top of me. But says <laughs> you are the nicest person I know. What if I'm not? What if all this is just an act and well, I just want you to think that I'm nice? <laughs> you you are nice. I, I promise. I know it. Did something happen to you? I've just been thinking this all. Are you homesick, maybe? Jesus. So. I don't want to be, Jen. I really don't want to be. You're not home for Christmas. Of course you're going to feel homesick. Well, I don't want to miss it. It's normal. <laughs> it's not normal. It's not normal to hate somebody as much as I hate her. <sighs> I'd still do anything for her. I want to just, I want to just have my own life, but but I can't. What are you talking about? I don't know why I ever thought that I could just leave her. Who? Your mum. My mum, she's, she's my whole life. But I owe her that, don't I? Like, like she did it for me. Is, is this about Christmas presents? Maybe. It's, it's like I, I don't want to give up my life for her. But, but it's what she did for me. Like, she gave up stuff for me. Mm. Is that just what we're all meant to do? Is is everyone else okay with that? Because I I don't know if this makes me a selfish asshole, but I don't want to do that. Looking after your mum, is she sick? Has she said anything? Mum, she's she's sick, sick. Yeah, uh, just under the weather. Okay, and. She wants you to go home and look after her for a bit. It won't just be for a bit. Do you get me? If I go back, I'll get stuck. Stuck exactly where she is. That's not the hill I want to die on. Maybe she are thinking it a little. Why don't you take some classes from home for a bit? Keep her happy. Oh, you don't understand. Well, help me to search. I don't think you should have to give up who you are for somebody. You wouldn't be giving anything up. You could come back in the new year, and there's nothing even going on, no parties or anything. Do you never just feel crippled by it? What are you on about? Like, we're only here to babysit people, look after them. Like, as women? As stupid fucking women. But like, like, it has to be done, doesn't it? And like, you know, she did it for me. She she did everything for me. Hey, it's okay. Don't worry. Um, uh, Becky is, is still in your building over Christmas, right? I'll give her a call and ask her to pop into you for a bit. So she's going to be okay. Oh, no. No, no, listen, Jen. No, I'm fine. Don't ring her. I'm grand. Oh, I'm sorry. Just, just go back to sleep. I just, I just don't want to end up like her at all. What's sick? I don't want to take the same path that she did. I don't want to end up there. I, I can see how she got there. I, I can see it so easily. It's like it's like the same path that I see in front of me. Oh, but I, I'm grand, Jen. Honestly, just just go back to sleep. Are you sure? I can I, I can stay on and chat for a bit if you if you need me to. Oh no, then then you're doing it yourself, don't you see? Doing what? Night, Jen. Happy Christmas. No, sir. Wait, wait. Happy Christmas, Mammy.
Is it after midnight? Jesus, so it is. What are you doing up? Santi won't come if he knows you're awake. I don't know why it took me so fucking long to go on about Santi. Maybe you know, deep down. I don't think so. I think I wanted to believe it so badly. I remember on the yard in school, Holly B was telling us that her sister said he wasn't real or something, and I, I just covered my ears and walked away. I didn't want to hear it. I loved you like that. I told myself that as long as you believed in Santi, I could keep you convinced that your dad was fine too. I told myself it was the same thing. Did you know about your dad? When you knew about Santi? You told me about Santi. You never told me about dad. But did you know? Eventually. I'm sorry, Pat. Not your fault. You couldn't hide it from us forever. I would have if I could have. Thanks. If only we could do that well. Close their eyes and cover their ears. I don't know how it works though. Mommy. You're asking the wrong woman. Did I tell you I met your dad at Christmas Eve? Dad told me he's met at a dance. He thinks so. It was after Mass. It was the first time it had been snowing in a long time. And I was at the church early to help with the children's nativity. So my car was parked outside for a few hours and it was half buried in snow. So dad helped me to dig it out. We never even got each other's names, but I remembered him. So he helped you too? Yeah, but that's the easy stuff, isn't it? Dig the car out and then you're done. It's the constant stuff, the day-to-day caring. That wears you down. Do you get me? I get you. Do you hate me, Sasha? I said, do you hate me? I used to hate your dad when he was like this. I know that's awful, but it's the God's honest truth. Don't hate you, Mum. Never hate you. You should. You should. I want you to build it all up and hate me all at once. Don't let it eat away at you forever till you're in my shoes. What are you doing? I'm looking out for you. I will do till the day I die. Oh, so that's all we're good for then, is it? Not you. You shouldn't be putting up with this. Look what I'm doing to you. I want you to stop worrying about me. How am I supposed to do that then? It's not that easy, Mummy. I know it's not easy. Look at the choices I made and look where I ended up. Take it from someone who's been there. It's not worth it, do you hear me? It's not worth it. I don't like want to live without you in my life, though. It's not living doing it this way. Trust me. There's no life to be had in revolving around someone else. I want to help you, Mammy. It's an awful life, an awful job. I don't think so. Not if it's for you. I don't deserve you. I don't reckon any of us deserve anything we get. Good or bad. It's all the same. I'd love you to leave me. Do you know that? 
I'd love to never see your face coming up on my phone again. Don't mean that. I do. I want you to make something in your life. And it can't happen this way. I, I need you too, Mammy. I need you. You think you do? I know it. I want you to promise me that you'll think about it. Mammy, I you... <laughs> promise me. Hey. Say. Not on Christmas. Oh. Not today. Fair enough. Do you remember when you were younger and you wanted to tell me something? You'd write it down and send it to me on a paper aeroplane. Yeah, I remember. Why? I don't know. I was just thinking about it. In this town I never see your face Always see our paper airplanes Flying through the sky and communicating But now the sky is grey and the clouds are raining Nowadays I never see you smile We haven't seen each other for a while but